Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineer Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang binomial expansion theorem. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so far, na-encounter na natin yung square of a binomial which has an exponent of 2 as well as cube of a binomial which has an exponent of 3. Pero paano kapag greater than 3 na yung exponent ng binomial like 4, 5, 6, and so on? So kapag ganun, gagamit na tayo ng binomial expansion theorem. Kasi kung i-expand pa natin yun ng mano-mano ay napaka matrabaho nun. So kaya meron tayong tinatawag na binomial expansion theorem na pwede natin gamitin sa pag expand ng binomial with power higher than 3. Okay? So ito yung formula. Given a plus b quantity raised to n where n is the power of the binomial, it is equal to n choose 0 a raised to n b raised to 0 plus n choose 1 a raised to n minus 1 b raised to 1 plus dot 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 plus until the last term which is n choose n a raised to 0 b raised to, z to n where n c k or n choose k is equal to n factorial over k factorial times quantity n minus k factorial. So, mamaya, gagamitin natin itong formula na ito kapag nag-solve tayo ng example o explain ko mamaya, okay? And then, ito yung mga important properties ng binomial expansion theorem. The number of terms in each expansion is n plus 1. The first and last terms are a raised to n and b raised to n. The sum of the exponents in every term is n. The exponent of a decreases by 1 term by term from n to 0. The exponent of b increases by 1 term by term from 0 to n. And the coefficients of the terms equidistant from n's are equal. So, mamaya explain ko habang nag-expand tayo ng given natin. Okay? And then, meron din tayong general term of the expansion. So, ginagamit to kapag naghahanap tayo ng specific term lang doon within sa expansion. Hindi lahat ng term. So, ito yung formula. Term with b raised to r is b raised to r term is equal to n choose r a raised to n minus r b raised to r. And the r term is r term is equal to n choose r minus 1 a raised to n minus quantity r minus 1 b raised to r minus 1. So mamaya gagamitin din natin to Explain ko ng mas malino kapag nag-solve tayo ng example using this formula. Okay? Now, let's try to expand the, the first example. Quantity x plus 2 raised to 5. Okay? So, ang first step kapag mag-expand tayo, identify natin yung first saka second term. Diba yung first term natin ay, let's say, first term. Diba dun sa formula siya yung a? Equal siya sa x. Ito yan, diba? Then, yung second term, diba dun sa formula siya yung b? So, equal siya sa 2. Okay, ang first step, list na natin yung lahat ng first term. So, uh, 6 terms. 6 na beses natin ililist yung first term. Kasi sabi dun sa property 1, dahil n natin ay 5, diba 5? Ang number of terms natin ay magiging n plus 1. So, mag-expect tayo ng 6 terms sa expansion. So, let's list down 6 x's first. So, x, and then lagi tayo maglalagay ng plus, kasi i-add natin yung expansion lahat, diba? So, x plus x plus x plus x plus x plus x So, anim. So, itong mga nilista ko, lalagyan natin ng exponent Dun muna tayo sa first term, ha? Ang lalagyan natin yung exponent ay magsisimula ka dun sa 5, which is yung given n mo. Pababa hanggang 0. So, let's start with 5 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay? And the next step, multiply natin lahat ng uh, x na to sa second term na 2. So, let's write down 2. So, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. And then this time, lalagyan din natin ng exponent. Magsisimula naman tayo sa 0 to n. So, meaning 0 to 5. Kasi n natin ay 5. So, lagyan natin ng exponent na 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, next, ang ilalagay naman natin ay yung numerical coefficients. So, maglalagay tayo ng numerical coefficients dito sa bawat term. Gagamitin natin ngayon yung formula na binigay sa taas. Itong n choose 0, n choose 1, hanggang n choose n. 
Okay, so ang ibig sabihin ng n c k pala daw ang ibig sabihin niya kapag kinompute ay n factorial over k factorial quantity n minus k factorial. So mamaya explain natin. Pero this time, bigyan muna natin ng mga numerical coefficients. Dun sa first term, ang ilalagay daw natin ay n c 0 tapos nc1 sa so, padagdag ng padagdag tong number dito sa kan sa kanan hanggang mapunta ka sa n so nc2 nc3 nc4 nc5 okay so itong n naman natin di ba siya ay equal lagi sa 5 kasi yun yung given so lag lag lagi lang 5 tong n so constant siya kapag dun sa numerical coefficient na okay Now, evaluate natin isa-isa. So, dito sa unang term, nc0. So, kapag in-evaluate natin to di ba ang n natin ang 5 at ang k natin ay 0. So, try natin i-substitute. So, 5 factorial over 0 factorial times 5 minus 0 factorial. Okay? Ang ibig sabihin ng factorial, let's say, for example, 5 factorial, i-multiply mo lang yung number starting dun sa number na yon, pababa hanggang 1. So, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? So, kung evaluate natin, so, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Over. Yung 0 factorial, special case yan ng factorial. Kapag yung 0 factorial, in-evaluate natin, lagi siya lang equal sa 1. Okay? And then, yung 5 minus 0 is 5. So, 5 factorial din. So, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, pag sinimplify natin, diba cancel lang lahat? So, therefore, 1. So, therefore, ang numerical coefficient pala natin sa naunang term ay 1 lang. Kasi 1 lang equivalent nung 5C0. Ngayon, mayroon pattern kapag nag-expand tayo. Itong property 5, the coefficients of the terms equidistant from ends are equal. So, eto raw na coefficient natin ng 1, dapat paraho din doon sa dulo. Kasi equidistant dapat, di ba? So, therefore, itong nc5 or 5c5 equal lang din yan sa 1. So, kahit itry natin evaluate or hanapin using this formula, mag equal din yan sa 1 using this formula, right? Tapos, hanapin naman natin to yung 5c1. So, using our formula, we have 5 factorial over So, this time, k mo ay 1. So, 1 factorial times 5 minus 1 factorial. So, it is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 1 factorial is 1. And then, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, 4 factorial. So, start ka sa 4. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? Then, cancel to. Matitira ay 5. So, therefore, yung numerical coefficient ng second term ay 5. And then, dahil equidistant nga dapat yung numerical coefficient or para sa ilang value, etong dapat na fifth term ay 5 din. Okay? Tapos, itong third term, nc2 or 5c2, try natin. So, 5 factorial over 2 na yung kayo natin. So, 2 factorial times 5 minus 2, 3 factorial. So, 3 factorial. Okay? Substitute natin yung... Simplify natin, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1, and then 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1. So, cancel natin to matitira ay 5 times 4 over 2 or 10. Okay, so therefore, itong third term ay may numerical coefficient na 10. And then, automatic, itong pang-apat na term, dahil equidistant sila, dapat 10 din yung numerical coefficient. So, meron symmetry, right? So, yun. Alam na natin yung expansion. Simplify la na lang natin. And then, napansin mo yung exponent ng first term tsaka nung second term na x saka 2, di ba? 5 tsaka 0, 4 tsaka 1, 3 tsaka 2, 2 tsaka 3, 1 tsaka 4, and then 0 tsaka 5. Kapag in mo yun, saan lagi equal? Like ito, 5 plus 0, di ba? 5, 4 plus 1, 5. 3 plus 2, 5. 2 plus 3, 5. So, and so on. Equal siya doon sa n na 5. Kasi yun yung property natin dito eh. Property 3. Okay? At yung property 4, yung in-apply natin sa una yung mga exponent na nag-i-increase saka nag-decrease. Itong 5 na-apply na natin. And then itong 2. A raised to n and b raised to n. 
So tama ba? So tama kasi magiging matitira mo lang x raised to 5 dito, 'di ba? Kasi 2 raised to 0, 1 na lang. The numerical coefficient mo naman ay 1. So x raised to 5. And then yung last term mo, itong x raised to 0, 1 lang din. So matitira mo lang ay then itong 2 raised to 5. So tama yung last term ay a raised to n tsaka b raised to n. Okay? So pag sinimplify natin to further, ano na yan? Itong 1 times x raised to the 5, 2 raised to 0. x to the 5 na lang, ba? So x to the 5 plus itong second term, 5 times x to the 4 times 2 is 10, right? x to the 4 plus 10 times x cubed times 2 raised to the second power. 40, right? So, 40x cubed plus itong 10 times x squared times 2 raised to the third. Ilan yon? 10 times 8, so plus 80x squared plus itong fifth term. 5 times 2 raised to the fourth. So, 16 times 5 is 80. So, plus 80x. And then, yung last term, 1 times x raised to 0, 2 raised to the 5, plus 32. Okay, so therefore, ito yung expansion natin. Okay, now dun sa mga numerical coefficients natin, merong other way para mahanap yun. Yung using Pascal's triangle. Magsistart ka lang sa triangle na may value na 1, 1, 1. Okay? And then, yung next uh, row, add mo to yung 1 plus 1, 2. Then, copy mo sa dulo, 1, 1. Then, yung next row, add mo ulit tong 1 plus 2, 3 na. Then, 2 plus 1, 3 ulit. And then, 1, 1 ulit sa dulo. Then, add mo ulit tong 1 plus 3, 4 na. 3 plus 3, 6. 3 plus 1, 4. Then, 1 ulit sa dulo. So, laging 1 yung dulo. Then, 1 times, uh, 1 plus 4, 5. 4 plus 6, 10. 6 plus 4, 10. 4 plus 1, 5 ole and then 1, 1 sa dulo. So, napansin nyo, ito yung, di ba, nakuha natin yung numerical coefficients. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So, therefore, this corresponds to Pascal triangle na may n mo ay 5. Okay? So, pag in-extend mo lang to yung mga next row, add mo lang din bawat succeeding terms. Okay? Pwede yung gamitin yun, kaso napakahaba. So, I suggest, gamitin nyo na lang yung n choose k na uh, formula. Okay? Now, let's solve another problem. Expand x minus 2y quantity raised to the 4th power. So, medyo mababa 4 lang. Mas less yung work natin. So, apply natin yung binomial expansion theorem. So, ang first term natin ay yung a i x. Then, yung b natin, this time, ay negative 2y. So, wag yung kakalimutan yung sign na. Okay, ang first step, x raised to 4, right? Kasi n natin ay 4. Plus, x raised to 3, pababa ng pababa. Plus, x raised to 2. Plus, x raised to 1. Plus, x raised to 0. Hanggang 0. So, therefore, meron tayong 5 terms. Kasi, n natin ay 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. The next, yung sa second term, meron tayong negative 2y, diba? So, negative 2y. Then, magsisimula tayo sa exponent na 0. Then, negative 2y, 1. Negative 2y, 2. Negative 2y, 3. Negative 2y, 4. Okay? And then, yung numerical coefficient. So, so pwede natin gamitin yung Pascal's triangle. Ito yun, di ba? Kapag n mo naman ay 4, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, mamultiply natin yung mga terms na yun sa 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Okay? Sa first term, may nakamultiply na 1. Sa second term, may nakamultiply na 4. Sa third term, may nakamultiply na 6. Then... 4 ole and then 1. May symmetry ole So, 1, 1, 4, 4, and then 6 yung middle. Or, pwede nyo gamitin yung NCK. Kaso kasi, mababa lang. So, pwede na, tating, pwede na natin gamitin yung reference natin sa Pascal Triangle para nila tayo mahirapan. Okay? And the way, yung NCK, pwede nyo masolve yun sa calculator. Mamaya ituturo ko. Okay? So, simplify natin. Itong first term may equal siya sa x to the 4th, kasi ito ay 1 lang naman, di ba? Itong second term ay 4 times negative 2 raised to 1, so negative 2. So, negative 8x cubed y, okay? Itong third term, 
6 times negative 2 quantity square. So, positive 4. 6 times 4, positive 24. Then, copy dyan, literal coefficients na x squared and y squared. So, distribute nyo yung exponent, ha? Yung fourth term. 4 times negative 2 raised to 3. Distribute yung 3. Negative 2 raised to 3 is negative 8, right? So, times 4. Negative 24. x, y, cube. Okay? Pati yung y, iko cube nyo. Huwag yung kalimutan. Then, yung last term, 1 times etong x wala na. So, 1 na lang yan. Negative 2 raised to 4. So, distribute. Positive 16. So, plus 16. Then, y to the 4th. So, therefore, this is the expansion. Okay? Okay. Next problem, we have find the middle term of the expansion of quantity x raised to 1 half plus y raised to 1 half raised to the 12 power. So, this time, hindi niya pinapa-expand. Ang hinahanap niya lang kung ano yung middle term. So, di ba alam natin na ang magiging number of terms nito ay n plus 1. Dahil n natin ay 12, we have 12 plus 1 or 13. So, ano yung middle term kapag mayroon kang 13 uh, terms? Di ba yung pang 7? So, therefore, hanggapin natin kung ano yung 7 term. So, 7 term. Ngayon, meron tayong formula yung kanina yung sabi ko. Ito. Ito yung gagamitin natin. R term is equal to NC R minus 1 A raised to N minus quantity R minus 1 B raised to R minus 1. This time, yung R natin dahil middle term daw natin, di ba? Nakuha natin R ay 7. So, yung 7 term. Yun yung pa-plug in natin dito na R7. And then, yung N natin ay 12 kasi n yung kasi nakaray sa 12 yung binomial di ba so try natin apply okay so we have the formula r term is equal to n c r minus 1 a raised to n minus quantity r minus 1 b raised to r minus 1 yung r natin ay ang 7 term so r equal 7 then, n is equal to, dahil 12 yung uh, power ng binomial, n natin ay 12. Ano pang kulang? So, itong a, tsaka b, ang first term natin ay, or yung a ay, x raised to 1 half. Okay? Then, yung second term, or b ay, y raised to 1 half. So, plug in natin lahat dito sa formula. So, n natin ay 12c, R is 7 minus 1. A natin, X raised to 1 half. Okay, then naka siya sa N12 minus quantity R is 7 minus 1. Then yung B is Y raised to 1 half quantity raised naman sa R which is 7 minus 1. So, wag yung kakalimutan yung parenthesis meaning apply nyo pa yung law of exponent kapag May exponent pa yung base natin. I-multiply nyo pa dun sa exponent na yun. Itong parehong to. Simplify muna natin. So, we have 12C this time. 7 minus 1, 6. So, ito yung kakalculate natin mamaya. Okay? Then, sa x natin, we have 1 half. Diba ito times natin to? Yung 1 half dito sa quantity na to. So, magiging 1 half times 12 minus 7 minus 1 is 6. So, 12 minus 6 is 6, okay? Then, y raised to 1 half times 7 minus 1 is 6 pa rin. Okay? So, we have 12c6 x raised to 1 half times is 6 is 3. y raised to 1 half times is 6 is 3 ulit. So, ang problema na lang natin na itong 12c6. Actually, pwede natin manumanuhin. So, try natin. 12c6 is equal to 12 factorial over 6 factorial times quantity 12 minus 6 factorial, right? So, 12 factorial over 6 factorial times 6 factorial. So, pwede natin i-calculate na lang yan. So, di ba expression natin ay 12 factorial? So, 12, input nyo yung 12, then ito yung gagamitin natin, yung shift na to. Shift, x raise to negative 1. So, shift this function. So, magkakaroon ng factorial over so, 6, then yun ulit, shift x factorial times shift, ah, uh, sorry, 6 muna. 
6 shift this function. So, 12 factorial over 6 factorial times 6 factorial and then equal. So, 924. Or kung directa na yung sa calculator itong function na to, yung NCR. So, apply nyo lang yung uh, shift divide. Yan, di ba? Then, dun sa uh, kaliwa nga, susulat nyo yung N na 12. So, 12. And then, dun sa kanan nya, 6. So, dapat para ako ng sagot na 924. Okay. So, tama. So, therefore, 12C6 is equal to 924 using calculator. So, therefore, ang middle term natin ay 924 x raised to the third power times y raised to the third power. Okay? Okay. For the fourth example, we have find the constant term in the expansion x raised to 2 plus 1 over x raised to 2 quantity raised to 12. So, this time, ang pinapahanap, kapag in-expand daw natin tong binomial na to, raised to the 12 power, ano yung magiging constant term? Kasi sinabing constant term, di ba wala siyang variable? So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, gamitin muna natin uli yung formula na r term is equal to ncr minus 1. Then, A raised to N minus quantity R minus 1, B raised to R minus 1. Substitute natin yung bawat given dun sa binomial. Then, tsaka natin i-analyze. Okay? So, ang first term natin ay X raised to the second power. Then, yung second term natin ay 1 over X squared right. Or, pwede siyang maging X raised to negative 2 right, applying law of exponent. And then, N natin ay 12. And then, Yung R, yung nga hanapin natin. Okay? Kasi hindi natin alam kung anong term doon sa binomial yung merong constant. Or yung maka-cancel out yung X. Okay? So, try natin i-substitute. So, N is 12. C, R minus 1. Yung R unknown pa. And then, A natin ay X squared right. Quantity raised to N natin ay 12 minus unknown yung R. So, R minus 1. Then, yung B ay x raised to negative 2, then raised to r minus 1. Simplify natin. So, 12c r minus 1. And then, ito, mamumultiply dito sa magiging x raised to 2 times 12 minus r minus 1. x raised to, ito rin, negative 2 times quantity r minus 1. Okay, so, napansin nyo, itong x, same base sila, di ba? So, pwede natin i-apply yung law of exponent. So, 12CR minus 1, X raised to, dahil nakatime sila, add natin tong exponent na to. Kasi same base naman sila, so pwede yon So, 2 times quantity 12 minus quantity R minus 1, close parenthesis, plus, or negative na, ba Kasi negative 2, minus 2 quantity R minus 1. Okay? So, therefore, dito sa expression na to, Para mawala yung variable na x, ano dapat ang exponent niya? ba dapat 0? Kasi x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, kapag nag-0 tong expression na to, or naka na 0 tong x na to, mawawala yung variable. Ibig sabihin, makukompute natin yung constant term doon sa expansion, which is, ito lang, 12c r minus 1. So, gets? So, therefore, equate dapat natin to sa 0 tong exponent ng x para maging 1 yung expression na tong x raised to this exponent. Okay? So, gawin natin yun. So, 2 times 12 minus r minus 1 minus 2 r minus 1 is equal to 0. Then, 1 equation, 1 unknown lang naman, di ba, yung r. So, pag nasolve natin yung r dito, yun na yung r term natin. Okay? So, distribute natin yung 2. So, 24 Ito rin, so negative 2r minus 1. And then ito, distribute na natin. So negative 2r plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. So 24, ito, distribute uli natin negative 2. Negative 2r plus 2 minus 2r plus 2. Okay. So itong negative 2r minus 2r is negative 4r. And 24 plus 2 plus 2 is positive 28 equal 0. So, transpose natin ito sa kabila. So, magiging 
28 is equal to 4R. Divide both sides by 4 para makancel. So, R is equal to 7. So, therefore, R pala natin ay 7 para magkaroon tayo ng constant. So, substitute na natin. Divide ito yun. Ito lang matitira kapag uh, R daw natin ay 7. Kasi ito yung kinumpute natin, di ba? Dapat magsisiro to. So, parang ganun na lang yan. 12C R minus 1 X raised to 0 na to. So, yung R natin ay 7. Okay? So, 12C 6 1 na to. Okay? So, ito magiging value ng constant term doon sa expansion. 12C 6. So, using calculator, it is equal to 924. Okay? So, that is the topic binomial expansion theorem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.